We watched every episode of Clone High Season 2, the reboot. We go through a plethora of different emotions while watching it, so make sure to get this video to 12,000 likes if you want us to watch Season 3 coming out next year. Also, check out our Patreon where you can watch the uncut commentary of all of these reactions and also exclusive content. Follow us on Twitter for updates if you want to keep up with all of the different new things we're doing on the channel. And thanks for watching. A very special episode of the long-awaited and mildly it's anticipated... I mildly anticipated this show. I'm so mildly anticipated. Whoa! Oh my... Oh. Okay, so I had I had my reservations. I had my reservations about this show, but it might be good. It might end up being a solid Now I'm making show. my reservations. 20 years ago, he created clones of historical figures. Hey, those are the guys from the Clone High series named Clone High. Oh my god, I know that television. show. It's so cool. Our mission is to unfreeze those clones, send them back to high school, and secretly Hold groom on. them. Secret secretly, secretly groom, groom them? them? Kim Jong-un? Real pictures? Mark Cuban? Mark, Mark Cuban. Cuban. That's my president, though. I'm voting for Mark Cuban. It's like, did someone order a 20-year cliffhanger? <laughs> <laughs> That was, really funny. that was really funny. That hurt me. Is it the same band? Dude, they didn't say sexy teens. They didn't say, they didn't say sexy teens. teens out. <laughs> Fucking the woke liberals are ruining our cartoons. They can't even say that teens are sexy anymore. What the fuck happened? I hate the way the new characters look. They look fucking hideous. Yeah, but if you just close your eyes, like you squint so you can't see the new characters, and you only look at the old characters, then like it still looks pretty good. There she is, Gandhi. Joan of Arc. There she is. Did you say Gandhi? He said Gandhi, but that's <laughs> not gonna be Gandhi. I'm pretty quiet. What's your take? <laughs> It's a turkey. Okay, it's a so. Fucking turkey. Well, I, well, we were all wondering, like, were they going to talk about Gandhi or were they just going to act like he doesn't exist? And they did that. Will you officially be my girlfriend? But you're popular and I'm definitely not. So, really? Really? I mean, really? Um, he's the first guy I had steamy, hot, incredible, mind bending sex. What the so fuck is this like the girl boss arc for Joan? Like, does she not need Abe, and now Abe is gonna be chasing this season? Is so that it's just an inversion. Why would anyone do anything a second time after they got burned so badly? The they're looking at us, bro. Like, what's uh, with this? Rick and Morty, bro. Rick and Morty. Why do you have I to? I love why'd you Rick and Morty. I will be installing a glass ceiling a gla so that I may over. She's your she's breaking the glass ceiling. Did you no, hear that? The gamers are supposed to break the glass ceiling. But now women are breaking the glass ceiling which is fucking crazy do you think they'll make one of these in like a hundred years where ninja is one of the clones and he's he talks about how gamers were oppressed a hundred years ago and for anyone who thinks it's 2003 you're wrong the students you don't recognize were cloned a few years after you were frozen oh these are the zoomer clones the zoomer they have to deal with the zoomer clones now that fucking sucks Bill Cosby. <laughs> this is this is just there. He's forcing them to watch a six-hour-long YouTube God. rewind. Here to not answer it is the most popular clone and the hottest girl in the school, Frida Kahlo, your class president. Who? Who is it? Oh, what? What? Someone. What am I what? watching right now? What? My sis from another petri dish, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. I don't remember Harriet Tubman having pink hair. Okay, then this is gay Harriet Tubman. Unless someone wants to fact check me and say that Harriet Tubman was also gay, then I have no idea what to say anymore. Are they gonna use TikTok in this show? I need, oh my God, I need please, a TikTok please, scene. Please, crypto. I reference. need a TikTok scene. It's your boy C -C Confucius. I hate this guy. This I sucks. hate him. I immediately this hate sucks. him. Ew. I hate him so. Man, I must sound like a total spaz right now. <gasps> Bro, you can't say that. Be more careful with your words. You don't want to get canceled. Ugh, you don't want to get canceled. Gonna say retarded. Shut up! <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Christopher Columbus. Cool. Not cool. Oh my goodness, he's Christopher Columbus. I'm trying to distance myself from my clone father. <laughs> what? He's not going by Christopher Columbus because he's gonna get canceled? I like boobies and butts. Any shape or oh, size. Wow. It's positive. Yes, I am positive. I like. Oh, ah! you're so positive, Eden. I pos. I'm positive that I like. I positively want to have sex with you after that. Be lunching on Friday. He's gonna kill himself. He's gonna kill himself. Hold on a second. On my butt shelf. Aw, 
Thanks, JFK. Oh my god, he just like rotated. He ro <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I want that ability. You just rotate your butt cheeks 180. Like, I could take a shit, like, just, like, facing the toilet. Like, that sounds Why awesome. didn't they put that in the trailer, bro? The 360 rotating ass was fucking insane. When I said gay, I'm not, I'm trying to say that it was the most dumb, stupid, horrible thing that you could ever imagine. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, here's okay, the drama. Okay, here's, here the we drama. Go. Uh, here's the uh, drama. Here's the drama. I'm a sad boy. I'm sitting on a dock. Why is this so dangerously high? Climate change, bro. So that was climate change. Climate bro. change, bro. Come on, dude. That's a little funny, man. Come on. I think he's been avoiding me. <laughs> he's he's still frozen. Gandhi's still frozen. They never unfroze him. <laughs> I want to offer an apology. Oh my Let's god, he literally no he way. did make TikTok. Oh my god. No it's way. fucking TikTok. Oh it's TikTok. God. He's fucking oh, on TikTok not. literally. One that matters. All lives matter. He said all lives matter. He said all lives matter. I didn't think they'd do it in the first episode. Abraham Lincoln, you are canceled. Oh, did you see Did we hear that? Did we hear that? Abe Lincoln, you are canceled. Wow. Oh my god, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. Why does the entire first episode have to be all of this? Like, all of this. Oh, Marilyn Manson was in the canceled corner. That's a little funny. That's, That's kind of funny. Good. This is fucking insane. Like, how do you cancel someone with the same DNA as Abraham Lincoln? Like, motherfucker, it's Abraham Lincoln, dog. Only served at my luncheon for unity. Dude, you can't wear that mask, man. That's cultural appropriation. That's gonna be the joke. That's gonna give you the joke. They're gonna say cultural appropriation. Creation, everyone's gonna laugh. The luncheon. Lots of farts. That was so much setup for such a shit joke. <laughs> like, am I crazy? Like, that, that was, was so way too much long. setup. That was That's, so much setup. Yeah. The music, I don't like the music as much. It's just not as good. Bro, oh, this shit, track kind of goes hard. Hold though. on, oh, wait, dude, wait, once wait. Once they push us away, they pull us back, man. Like they keep doing this shit. Like this song is fire now. Like how do you switch it up like that? Hello? Ow, what? Dinger. What? It, what? Why? I'm not even. I don't even look at the screen, bro. The song's too good. They're like, finally, we got a banger song. Let's put it over Literally. a scene where it got constant paper cuts and it's really bloody and it's not funny. Let's do that. Let's fucking do that, guys. Let's put the best fucking song in the show in the shittiest scene in the show. The slapstick in this show is like worse than the slapstick in Velma. Now let's kiss in the French style. That is so true, JFK. Thumbnail. Ah, dinger. 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 They end the episode with the shitty dinger joke. That is so awesome. I love that. No, the, the clones, clones aren't are sexy 36 teens year now. Olds. They're not sexy teens. They're not sexy teens. Jonah Bark used to be an outsider with a crush. Well, four by three Lincoln, ratio flashback. But now she's suddenly a pop. Roundhead jump scare. <laughs> you were right. I thought you were over exaggerating it, but her head shape is like completely different now. Peekaboo. Ape. Ape. What? What? She was having a sex dream in class. What the? What the fuck? fuck? She's what? riding his nose. No way. She's riding no his fucking way. nose. That's that shit like... goes crazy, man. Yes. This is like when like Oh oh my god, what do you what do I even say to I was gonna make a joke, but what do I even say to that? She's literally just screaming moaning. I really just like the color usage in this intro song. Like I feel like it's an improvement on the original. It just looks super sick. It looks besides this part, clean. besides that part, where is Cleopatra? I feel like Cleopatra was way bigger than the original. Well, maybe she'll have more to do in this episode. Hey, Joan, I heard you had a sex dream in math class. No, I had a math dream in sex class. That's why you fact check a rumor. <laughs> You had a math. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm actually laughing at that. Is that not funny? <laughs> I went to set and I started seeing numbers, man. I started. I, just, I started seeing that was algebra. Funny, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this show is kind of like Inside Job, full of cringe, but it also has some funny jokes. It's trying to be relevant, but it, it kind of fumbles the bag in that element. I think. Most TV writers' rooms back then only had one woman. That is unthinkable and very specific. Dude, stop Rick and Morty. 
Can we talk about how Rick and Morty ruined television? Stop looking at the screen, Joan. Stop looking. I know. We're, we've made it strides. When they broke the glass ceiling. Is this okay? a fucking mockumentary? Stop jimming the screen. He's holy shit. Joan is so fucking horny. What the hell? Girl needs help. She can't just keep all this stuff bottled up. These characters don't need to be in the show. Can we tell you this? I don't so like their far, commentary. So far, they actually haven't added, like, much to the dynamics of the original characters. They're kind of, like, just existing separately. Yeah, they're like a couple, like, annoying, ugly people who stand there on the sidelines and just comment on everything that happens. Jonah, we would like to propose a sleepover tonight because... A sleepover? Sleepover, sleepover. Are they gonna do sleepover songs? Sleepover, 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 sleepover. That's a reference to the original Clone High, but you would only understand if you watched our original clone high videos that exact joke might happen where joan looks at the screen she says that's a reference to the original clone high <laughs> and then they'll be like watch it now on hbo max oh wait it's just max now <laughs> definitely have meaningful relationships with lots of male friends <laughs> or guys the only male friend he had was gandhi and he's gone i'm gonna be honest with you like jfk in 2023 JFK? jfk would be gay in 2023 that's all i was gonna say like he wouldn't care you know what i mean i feel like his sexual energy wouldn't care whether it was male or female at mm -hmm. that point no no he, jfk is the embodiment what the fuck what was the that? fuck was that jfk is the embodiment of that 4chan screenshot with johnny bravo where it's like i'm straight so whatever makes my dick hard is a woman all right i've been having sex same with me but you know the internet i'm not gonna lie out of all the new characters i would say confucius is actually my favorite hello foster daughter i was just preparing you dinner no, no fucking way joan has the thick ass queen as her mom now she had that awesome some blind father that was, that was so funny he's probably dead now it's been 20 years oh i wish toots hadn't died in that clarinet accident while i was frozen what the fuck is this song this is not sleepover 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 that we want as a clone high fan i am disappointed that they didn't do the reference i was hoping something no sleepover could ever go without Fun. Cocaine. Gone to. Oh, yes, whom we play sports and then slap asses. When he went like that, it just looked like cold. It looked like a giant ball sticking out. He slapped his fucking tickled hard as hell there. What is this strange magic? Flip. They're showing JFK TikTok and he's gonna see himself on TikTok. No insurance, a little bye, bitch. <laughs> that was actually funny. Bye, that was actually funny. He's getting addicted to TikTok. No. This is the worst thing you could possibly do to someone from the 2000s. Just instantly get them addicted to social media. Except watching Spilling the Milk on TikTok. Check out our TikToks. It's time to play. Never have I ever. I've never played. Never. Not ever. Never have I ever been on the US dollar. I've never played. Never have I ever. Never? Where's Siskel and Ebert? I need the two thumbs down on that joke. Ever. It's time to give them the truth serum later. Bro, she looks like a gender bent SpongeBob, let's be real. <laughs> Squidward after the Krabby Patties, bro. She's she's giving Squidward after the Krabby Patties vibe. Uh, I don't know. This seems pretty revealing. She is not invited to the blunt rotation. That's all I'm saying. Like she is gonna have the worst trip ever, and I do not want to be a Either that or the best one, but might not be so good for everybody else present. This feels like a 30 year old woman hanging out with 16 year olds. Am I wrong? That's, Doesn't this feel- the, the problem with that is that that's technically true, but it, <gasps> it shouldn't feels, be. It like it technically feels... shouldn't be. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> his name, his name is Fire Chill, bro. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Why do people think it's still okay to make fun of Italians? I'm tired of being called ricotta face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is so stupid, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Pop on these blue light glasses to avoid eye strain. We're Whoa. going in. <laughs> ew, ew, Dude, ew. shout out, shout out blue light glasses. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the coffee maker didn't break. I was getting freaky with it. He f***ed the coffee. He f***ed the Keurig. He f***ed the Keurig. Dude, there's a giant hole, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. <laughs> I'd be putting my own pods in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How? I remember it clear as Miami Beach seawater, minus all the condoms. Get it? Because Miami Beach isn't clear. It has condoms in it because Florida sucks. Those are free. Like, they're free. You can use them. 
And the Free? seawater actually washed out all it's of the It's a good way to save fire. We hit a guy, landed right on him. Impact put dude's whole body into a knot, like a garlic knot. They hit and ran someone. They're revealing that they literally murdered someone. That's not that bad. Who cares? I've seen worse, man. Was he even dead? They probably buried him alive. This is why every year on the anniversary, we remember it. Never forget. Guys, they, they did a 9-11 joke. Yeah, yeah. No, they said like he died on September 11th. I don't know what the... They said never forget. They're, ne they're never yeah, gonna cause forget. Yeah, because they killed someone. They probably wouldn't forget that. This is stupid. Like, you should be trying to dox each other if you've been arguing for this long. Like, nothing goes on True, this long. True, if there's no someone... SWAT team pulling up, like, what the fuck's the point? You're a loser. It's a very small amount. This feels like a Smosh video. Am I crazy? Like, the concept for this sequence, this is like a Smosh video. Yeah, They would have done smosh. this video, like, eight years ago. No, this is definitely a Smosh video. What if we fought, like, online, but in real life? Online arguments in real life. Oh my god, Ian! You're such a fucking idiot! Shut up! So let's dig up that dead-ass body. That dead ass, dead ass. They didn't use the word right. Dead ass. That's not even how you use the word dead ass. I know what you did eight autumns ago. The show sucks. I give the show a nine out of eleven. We'll be our all night, folks. You're not. You're. You're. Wait, he had a grammatical error in his message. Is that what? Is oh that my goodness! Oh my grammatical God. error. Opinion disregarded. Possessive, your you idiot. It's apostrophe r e. What? <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. I corrected his grammar. It's over. We won. <laughs> I want JFK and Confucius to f by the end of the series. I want, I need that to happen. That's something that I require. I want them to kiss. I do want them to kiss. Oh, right. Name's Frederico. As I laid buried alive, my life flashed by. Yeah, they did bury him alive. I was right. How are you, Frederico? And I'd say, none of your business. And I'd throw my sprite in her face. What an asshole. Why would he do that? <laughs> I thought but, but 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 it was McDonald's Sprite, so it's like it was kinda nice of him actually. It was pretty good. It was pretty it was good. It was really refreshing. As you two filled my mouth with mud, I realized I wanted to live. Now I have tons of friends. I tell them all my secrets. What a wholesome ending to this episode. What the hell? But wait, it was just a dream. I was having sex with Abe's head. Uh we call that oral <laughs> sex now. Oh. We call that oral sex now? I think oral sex existed 20 years ago, I'm gonna be honest. I just thought, I'm a, just a hot take. We call it munching now. See, that's what she should have said. <laughs> we call it munch. <laughs> Abe is a munch, Joan? You don't understand. People over explain the rules when literally everyone. Ah! Frederico. Uh, he's still alive and they're gonna bury him again. <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> Why are we laughing? That's what I've been thinking this whole time. Previously on a very special Clone High. Previously on a very special Ed Clone High. Are they gonna recap when he had TikTok? When, when they went on TikTok? This show's hard. Maybe the show's good. Maybe the show's That's good. That's what I was saying last time and no one believed me. Like, it's not that bad, okay? It's not a parody of teen dramas anymore. It's, it's just like a... It's like whoa! It's like what? What? It, what evil clone? What? Evil clone? Already? It's, so three. it's becoming woke! It's becoming woke! They're sucking it's the woke mind virus. No! Is sucking no! Them up. No! Um, guys, guys! <laughs> what the fuck was that Scooby Doo ah sound effect? <laughs> Did we roll all the way from my car? Sorry, I thought we were fucking on a cotton candy machine. <laughs> you know what I just realized? I just realized that. Joan has literally nothing to do with Joan of Arc, and I've never questioned it in the entire <laughs> series. Like, well, that's like every character is kind of like, like, no, like JFK characters. is like a fuckboy because like people think that like or know that he had a fuck ton of sex <laughs> while in office and shit like that. I got something I want to pull out. Um, not here, babe. This 
Necklace. <laughs> That's Joan FK. They've been dating for two weeks. He is already trying to marry her, man. Does this mean that, that she has to take his middle name as well if they get married? <laughs> Every single episode together. Then we start ordering one dessert and sharing it. Oh my god, that is a fucking terrifying visual. This is amazing. I thought he was going to take the spoon and start eating her. I'm not going to lie. I wish he did. It's just that I love Joan and I want her to be happy. Gandhi reference! Oh, they're Gandhi reference, dude. Gandhi, that's funny. Dude, the, the creators really wanted to put Gandhi in the show, but they could, they couldn't. It's, they just it's couldn't. It's tragic, to be honest. What if I never have a career and end up naming my kids Drayden and Clayton? Ooh, Clayton! Oh my god. There's fucking one kid out there, literally one kid out there named Drayden, who is just sad now. Begun. Yes, and can we all acknowledge that my idea of free midterms Dude, ever since I pointed out that she kind of looks like Spongebob in the last video, like, I literally cannot unsee it. Get cracking on the end of the week, Super Stressor. The mandatory broad daylight swimsuit dance. No, this is actually a reference to, like, the original show's time period, because if you were, like, in the early 2000s and you just woke up in the middle of the night, there's, like, a 30% chance that there was, like, some, like, bikini challenge on, like, Spike TV playing at, like, 3 a.m., I swear to God. Well, that's just it's what the true. world was like back then. Like, bikini challenges were, like, the social currency of that age. Yeah, people used to be happy back then. To chomp your anxieties away, say hello to the heebie-jeebie. This is Big Mouth. I just I want to let you guys know this is a Big Mouth episode where <laughs> they introduce the anxiety demon to help them with their anxiety. I think the necklace is amazing. Are you kidding me? That's just facts. But I can't say that. If I tell her I like the necklace, I may never have another shot at being your boyfriend. Just That's facts. just facts. That's just facts. I keep it um, 100. Because um, I live Abe in the 2020 decade. Do you think Abe likes Brockhampton? Um, I think he is in Brockhampton. <laughs> He's one of the guys, man. He's, He's the one of the guys, champion, bro. He loves his Thug Life's his favorite song. Though. Oh, look, Joni just texted me. Golly. This, this episode's supposed to give me anxiety, but I'm just looking at this. I'm like, kill yourself. It's giving me anxiety about the future of cartoons. That's what it's giving me anxiety about. <laughs> Who can be the first Kennedy to have a relationship fail? I got it. Easy solution. Avoid Joan so she can't break up with you. So the original show was like a parody of these things and poking fun at it. This is like a show that is like just playing a lot of these things it. straight. Maybe realize she has no sexual interest in you. I forgot the fucking fetish chamber that they organized this office <laughs> in. It's insane. It's insane. Took me out for tato skins. And then some. Oh, how I wish my father would die again. What? 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 He what? The mortician. At his dad's funeral, he fucked the more. That's that's that honestly is... <laughs> pretty hard. I respect it. No fib. That simp just got took. No fib. That simp just got took. Bro, this is literally like a Poppy Playtime FNAF type game that we're just watching an episode for. God, go! No! Wow! What am I saying? <sighs> These are actually pretty cozy. Oh, she's becoming so a Harriet wine mom. So Tubman is a alcoholic? She's becoming a wine mom as we speak. And that's a good life. That's just a solid life. Is she gonna lead the underground vineyard? You're right. A good soak is truly relaxing. I'm gonna let my troubles go and a little bit of pee. Oh, now they're into soaking. Now they're gonna make a soaking wait, wait. joke. Is, is Abe and Frida Kahlo gonna be the new ship? Where do you think you're going, Unibrow? Oh my fucking god. I want to kill myself. That's so Where fucked. the frick? Uh. Where are you going, my little Unibrow? What do you, you think gotta you're doing? Someone's getting eaten! Sacagawea is missing? They haven't minted any dollar coins in years. The heebie-jeebie is just a mascot. It's not like it's evil. The heebie-jeebie is not just a mascot. It's like it's evil. This movie's so funny. Groan. You're a zombie, you balding loser. I found this cool charcoal. What is going on right now? <laughs> I kind of liked her. I kind of like liked a... her calling Jonah balding. You balding loser. Balding you know? loser? <laughs> <laughs> Biscuit! No! My what babies! 
That's like the fucking bunny from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Bro, he is never hitting it, ever. He just killed all her fucking pets, bro. He's never hitting it. No, now she's sad, and he's a shoulder to lean on. Just like the mortician did with Great him. Great strategy right there. He, Great strategy. Yeah, he can just fall. Pity is the best way to get laid. You heard it here first, guys. You heard it here first. Pity is the That's best going... way to get laid. That's how you do it. His cheeks! I love this show. Never the mind. cheeks? It's a good scene. No, like, this isn't even normal cartoon no, cheeks. They're over embellishing these fucking cheeks so goddamn hard. I've already revealed a lot. This, this is, this is, is me. This is, my, this is my. This, this is me being beat the episode. fuck up by the shitty fucking jokes. This is me when Frida Kahlo says simp. It's iconic actor and mental health advocate, Ian Ziering, of all six Sharknados. Ian Ziering? To get all that anxiety off my chest and to kick you in the wiener. Go to therapy and beat up your therapist. I think what's the message. Also, can I get a pic of you for the gram? That's what I call my grandma. Can I get a pic of you for the gram? That's what I call my grandma. That's what Confucius said. That's like what? <laughs> Did he actually say that? Yes, he literally said that. Like he calls his grandma Gram because that's like Instagram. Holy fucking shit! This fucking show is so. Yeah, I call my aunt LinkedIn. <laughs> Yeah, I call my fucking uncle Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it's my fucking favorite. Now that I think about this, like, we're complaining, but... Uh, okay, they're not technically teens, but they're, like, they're basically teens, right? Oh my fucking god, his nipples. Holy fuck. What is more cringe than teenagers? Absolutely nothing. I may have lost my only chance of breaking them up. What is... I know I did the right I, thing, because... What... <laughs> This feels like it should be the last episode of the show. Why are <laughs> they feels drawing like an out this fucking resolution right now? Oh my god, but the bunny was evil all along, and what? now it's like FNAF and Poppy Playtime epic moment. Eden, it's Florida! Is this like what you did growing up? No, this is the magic. That's the reason they put Disneyland there. World. This is ancient Disney, and then they cre they the slaves created Disney World. This is the most powerful force in the universe. Are they gonna introduce some like fantasy plot into Clone High? Is there gonna be like an overarching plot in this show? Uh, 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 uh. Let homecoming begin. What? What? It's a marching band version? So they change it every episode? That's cool, man. What the hell? That is cool. That's probably the coolest thing in the show. Oh my god. Am I watching like a fucking like makeup tutorial? What is this fucking music right now? Today we're gonna be going over my pig statue routine. It's a little something I came up on my own. I basically find a pig in the wild, kill it, gut it, and put its blood all over my face every single morning. Pig blood is famously great for your pores. Fuck that Sarah V. Pig blood is the way to go. And by float, I also mean pigs. You pigs my pigs. <laughs> what the fuck was that sentence, man? You pigs my pigs, bro. I mean, you know, kinda, you know, like girls have a little pig. You know what I mean? So it's time for everyone's favorite song, the instructional boogie. <laughs> the instructional boogie. That's so fun. Nah, this is my favorite thing to parody because I feel like this is an integral memory for everyone that no one talks about. Like everyone did the Cupid shuffle. This is their attempt at making a viral TikTok dance. I just want I just want to let you know. That's fun too. I'm sorry. Is your mind also flat chested? She has tits right there. I can see them. You drew them. You drew the tits. I can see them. But they're not as big, though. They're not as big, and they don't extend out as far. And they're not connected directly to her shoulder. So, are they real tits? I don't know. Only good tits are connected directly to your shoulder, as we know. It makes it hard to move your arms, but it makes them look better, so. Did you see Cleo campaigning for homecoming queen? Harriet Tubman's tits. Don't, they don't even bend to the shape of her body. It's just like two little circles attached to her chest. Can you stop like sexualizing these characters? I think it's literally impossible for me to sexualize Harriet Tubman. She is so unattractive. Wow, that's fucked up, man. Sorry, man. I stuck my dick in a cotton candy machine and it kind of fucked me up, man. I'm not into it. Yo, we got that fucking sh that lit ass rap down with Cleo about down with that queen. I love the rap and rap and roll. Yes, sir. That shit was lit, bro. That shit was lit. Is this fucking Scientology? Are we gonna have to watch a cartoon make fun of Scientology for like the 
three billionth time. Maybe it won't make fun of it. Maybe it'll embrace it. Maybe something <laughs> will finally respect my religion. One piece, one piece. <gasps> Harriet Tubman is emu? Is it emu? Harriet Tubman's an emu? Taught in a way that your parents approve of. Aw, oh, shucks. But not a piece of total human garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I laughed. They got me, bro. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what? 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 I take back everything I said. This show is beak fiction. They hit me with the one-two punch of the Christopher Columbus joke, then they clapped my fucking- they clapped me, man. Congrats, Joan. Turns out nobody wants to vote for a pumpkin murderer. Pumpkin murderer! <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, like I can't predict what's gonna happen to the show because like I just want everything to like subvert my expectations, but then it just comes out the way that you would expect, which is weird. This show is played really straight. It should be played gay. I'm getting pissed. It's literally the first day of Pride Month and they're playing it straight. Are you fucking serious? Leo? <laughs> Are you crying? This is stupid. Why am I feeling sympathy for Cleo right now? She was a horrible person the entire first season. Like, literally the worst character. Like, why are you trying to make me feel empathy right now? I'm out of here. Now I have the power. That's so scary. I know we were complaining we wanted more Cleo, but now I don't want more Cleo. Her t double in size. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I love Cleo's inclusion in this show. I'm not gonna lie. This is... Oh my god, never mind. I take it back again. I oh, take it back. I this show mind. is literally whiplash, and now she looks the same as before. Wait, is that pumpkin spice latte? Ew! Ugh, gross! They really be making a whole ass extended pumpkin spice latte joke. Whoa, why he looks like such a twink. Holy shit. Why is he acting so strange? I don't want to beat around the bush. Maybe it's just hard for you. <laughs> That's how he broke out of the spell. By just being a horny ass motherfucker, he broke out of the spell. She just keeps setting up these nut jokes and he can't help himself. Dude, this is kind of funny because there's like that whole like argument and debate uh, as to like what race Cleopatra was. And now we know that she was every race because she's everyone now. What's that smell? Um, bucks. Weird. Are they all on paper like that? Cringe. Uh, <laughs> guys, I've oh, never seen a library before. I'm Gen Z, so I've never fucking seen a book. I just fucking scrawl. No, that's literally like all the fucking stupid, like older people who are like, oh, a floppy disk. I bet kids don't know what these are. Yes, they fucking do. Children aren't that stupid. Grab the crowd, Confucius. Dude. Kind of a fetish right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I like it. Jack, do you have a giant test fetish? Like, just be honest, man. If it's Cleopatra, yeah. Like, what the fuck? I have a Johnny test fetish. That's what? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> fucked up. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Look, they're hanging Joan of Arc. They're gonna burn her at the stake. Because that's the thing that they do in the history and the reference that the thing is, uh, yeah. I deserve my punishment of listening to the instructional boogie on an endless loop. The irony is, I actually kind of like this song. Joan's voice actor in this episode is like eating every line. Oh, it's my actual kind of like your scene. That's what I was about to say. That did not sound quite right. She's trying too hard. Now maybe it can repair your relationship with Cleo. You're right. This show is just wholesome. It's trying to be a wholesome, like, show. It's trying to be a wholesome chungus, and that's not what I want out of Clone High. I want unwholesome chungus. I want hate. I'm a hater, and I hate things. I want it to be painful, just like my life. <laughs> Don't look at me. I oiled myself. Bro, that's a fucking Disney Pixar joke right there. Are you kidding me? I just oiled myself. That's like a Cars joke. That's like a Cars joke. Wait, that, no, that's a question. In the Cars world, would oil be their piss, their blood, or their j? It's definitely their blood. I would say the is like the transmission fluid, to be honest. Eat pumpkin spice latte! Is this episode sponsored by fucking Starbucks? This episode sucks fucking ass. I can't defend this. I'm the one who likes this show the most out of the three of us, and I cannot defend this episode. Well, I thought we could split it. Why do they all keep the hair? Like, that wasn't part of the mind control. They just grew all that hair magically. She just has so many wigs. Those lattes were sourced ethically. Um, 
Um, yeah. They totally were. They weren't. They weren't. Oh my fucking god, they weren't source. What a, What the fuck is this episode? I want to kill my- I feel like if we were watching the episode of Family Guy, she would have been like, yeah, they totally were, and then there would have been a two-minute cutaway gag to children working in the coffee fields. That would be really funny. All I did was tell the truth. And to be honest, I'm really glad we aren't enemies anymore. Joan's voice actor sounds drunk while recording these lines in this episode. You know, I would want to be. Is my hair freaking you out? Don't call attention to it. Just end it. Just end it. I didn't need to see that, man. I love seeing that. <laughs> Their relationship dynamic makes me incredibly <laughs> uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. They're like the worst match for There's no chemistry there, man. Unironically, I think Joan and JFK are too good for each other because they minimize the funny parts of their characters. You looking for the easiest path to fame and fortune? Dude, that guy's got giant. I'm not gonna lie. Cleavage. His male cleavage is intimidating. We are looking for hot young writers, directors, actors, and best boys. Winners will fly standby to North Hollywood. Like, wow, that's so funny. The writer strike is still going on while they're making this joke about writers being like manipulated and taken advantage of. Guys, get it because we're in 2023, so now people have Roombas in their houses. That's new. <laughs> That's a new and interesting thing to our current time. Oh, I do a musical. The team will razzle me. Razzle. The team will razzle me. I just realized that is this season just slowly going to be like the femification of JFK? Like he keeps just doing more and more like feminine things and less masculine things I mean, over the there, course of the series. I mean, there is that episode in the first season when Joan is cross-dressing where he was seriously considering, reconsidering his sexuality. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Why? Why were they thought? thought why, did Ma Litter. Why, why? why did Max fucking get a hair dryer and unfreeze these outdated fucking pieces of shit? It's time to watch Clone High, guys. It's time to watch it. Yo, what? There's just a fetus in a jar. <laughs> fetus in a jar is my favorite character. D does he get a song? I'm a fetus in a jar. I'm not gonna go very far. Just... I'm in a jar. All right, guys, I'll be here all night. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, the SpongeBob fetish chamber goes hard as hell. Like, I need one of these. You're just paying a woman like 100K a year to just live above you and do nothing else. But they have to look exactly like SpongeBob, okay? Hey, it's not the first time the hookers heard that. Ew. Oh, that's gross. She's eating his lips. She was like chewing on it like bubble gum. There's one tiny thing that Dude, how is spine. she? Broke her spine. Put a, crack on, put a crack sound effect on that. Theaters in my blood. And my blood is sprayed all over the theater. It was a bit of a, it was a bit of an Abe Lincoln death reference. Where's John Wilkes Booth clone? Where is he? Been in this business a long time. Oh my time. God. He looks like the one slur. That boy's got white guy confidence. You can be dangerously. I uh, know, man. I'm done. No, I'm done. they're making a white guy I confidence. I can't song. fucking do this, man. You never say you're sorry. Never admit that you're wrong. You can't. White guy hatred song. Let's go. White guy confidence. Yeah. Wow. I hate white men. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Fuck all those guys. All I'm saying is Cone High is so woke, but so lit. Can we can we agree? Can we agree on that? Ah, ah. I, I, I kind of like that so far, Harriet Tubman's most distinguishing character trait is the fact that she can break her spine on command. Like her head is like rolls around like it's attached by a fucking screw. What? What? Oh, they're stealing his white guy confidence? Is that what's happening right now? They're using what? Joe, Joe Rogan! Rogan. Yeah. Joe Rogan, Space. Kevin Spacey! A real Spacey. life picture of Joe Rogan. Th this show does have absolutely no problem directly calling out people by name. Just when I think my opinion of you couldn't sink any lower, it does. Oh, he likes it. Much, he likes that. He loves this. Lower. He loves this. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Man, I watched the first two episodes and I was like, it's not that bad. And now it is that bad. Like, this shit is so fucking boring. Not like, the, this is one of the best episodes, though. It's, you have to admit, it's one of the most lit episodes. Even you can't deny it. It's one of the most lit. <laughs> because I thought white people were like hashtag epic before this. But now I watch the episode and now I understand that they're hashtag not epic. Oh, baby! Golden uh, parachute! Storming the Capitol! What? Storming the Capitol? Bro. 
Are you kidding me? Storming the Capitol. January 6th. W which, which is better? Star Wars prequel number two, Hi Attack of the Clones or Clone High? W which is the better piece of clone related media? Uh, that's the hardest question you've ever asked me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Because <laughs> on the one hand, the prequels are so fucking boring and bad. They got Jar Jar yeah, Binks, bro. And Jar Jar Binks is funnier than any part of this show. No one I'd rather have kiss my boyfriend in a parking lot full of strangers than you. Wholesome. Beautiful. Actually wholesome. Wow, nice choreography. What does that add to the so show? So it's just an NBA coach in the fuck. Yeah, but like they're not even making a joke with him. He's just like a normal white dude in the audience. That's like I just don't funny. understand what the point That's of making funny, him though. that person That's is. Why is it just a random NBA coach saying nice choreography? My heart is in a twister. <laughs> My heart is in a twist. I wish, I wish my fucking, my I wish my fucking brain was in a blender. Get me out of here. That's funny, dude. Come on, man. That's funny, bro. That's funny, bro. Oh, I've never kissed anyone who weighs quite long. <laughs> what a terrible fucking delivery. <laughs> Boy, oh, it's quite gosh. like you. Oh, he actually. Oh, wait, wait. They actually love each other. Oh my god, oh there's my a goodness. fucking love triangle in Clone High now but with my favorite characters, Harriet Tubman and JFK. JFK interracial relationship? I, I like black woman. What a show. Wow. <laughs> I have I have I don't even know, man. NBA coach Steve Kerr. <laughs> I have two loves in life, basketball and teen dramas. My philosophy is the talent. What? <laughs> this is probably what? the best part of the episode. <laughs> what the fuck is? Look how fucked up. I like his face how is. fucking terrifying he looks. He looks like a fucking eldritch demon. Look at his forehead. And nothing of lasting consequence went wrong. Guys, do you fu dude, that's so funny. Clone they burnt, they burnt down the Burn fucking wounds. Place. I'm obsessed with you, JFK. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's their heart. That? That's their heart. That's no, so gross. Are you? Please what? don't tell me this Ew. is the arc. Harriet Tubman sucks. She sucks in this show. No, that was all part of the play. It was all the whole episode was the play. So that kind of overshadowed the kiss. But for how long, my friends? We're friends, right? Please don't answer. Bro, the narrator in the season talks like the goddamn Jackbox game narrators. Sounds like the beginning of a little peep song. I love Harriet Tubman. I want her to tub me. I want her to throw a toaster in my bathtub. Abe and I used to spend so much time here, didn't we, Abe? Yeah, we were regulars. Harriet Tubman's gonna get back, or is gonna like steal JFK, but then Abe is gonna be wanting to date someone else because Abe and Joan can't get together, otherwise the show will end. It's kind of beautiful because Abe has been getting cucked this whole time, so it's Joan's turn to get cucked. It's like an exchange of cuckoldry. I think everybody deserves a chance to get cucked, and that's the beautiful thing about Clone High. And that's when she got deep from. By the time I got around, I tried throwing parsley on her to cool her down. This sounds like he just tried eating his wife and then changed his mind. No! You can't sell the grassy knoll! Bro, the stanky leg though, what? I do not have an illness I've been hiding since childhood. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a dude from Big Time Rush. We could eat people fried. I would eat that. I would eat her. Well, that's my issue because we're so wasteful. Like, there's people starving everywhere. And then we have all this constant influx of meat. And we just, what, we fucking burn it? We just waste it. We, we throw it all it. into the fucking atmosphere. We've had a solution to world hunger for fucking, like, millennia. But we're just, like, too afraid to embrace it. Energetic, Energetic and, and engaging. engaging. Our angst is entertaining. The weird thing, the show is not even very angsty. Ugh, what's wrong with your legs? What's wrong with your legs? Uh, uh, never mind. So basically, I'm based off of the character SpongeBob from SpongeBob SquarePants. So when they gave me my legs, they made them look like SpongeBob from SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh my God, they're in, they're in love. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing, why do their hearts I, could, talk there's to nothing I could possibly want to watch less than JFK and Harriet Tubman getting it on. But, but Harriet like, Tubman has like so much to her character, like the fact that she just exists for like a foil. Like, yeah, the fact that she's Joan's friend, uh, 
She can break she's, her spine on command. And she's like a really annoying, like, A-type uh, personality. Her, her hair looks like, like that's my favorite. Gum. That's my favorite part, how, like, I could rip off her hair and chew it like Cubba Bubba. That's my favorite part. When the patient experiences a buildup of nostalgia, the patient's legs become what we in medicine call... Silly. Oh, that makes me sad. Dude, that's fucking Abed from Community Voices, that guy. I'm really sad. That's when I felt it. I couldn't control my legs. They just started going... Change. Oh, oh my god. god. Change you know who she crazy. needs? You know who she needs? She needs the fucking nostalgia critic to take her back to the past and, and oh show god. her that all her shows suck ass. That's the Dude, that's wrong what she character. Needs. Oh my god, she wore the fu- Dude, the leg brace was kind of funny looking though. That leg brace. If he remembers it, then she won't have to. That's true. Beautiful. It spread to her heart. <gasps> and Thumbnail. then she could die. <gasps> if you hear her saying Thumbnail. things like- Dude, I just find myself saying thumbnail like when I'm watching things like like no, like outside of milk. Yeah, I was watching Euphoria with my friends and I was like thumbnail. Like Zendaya's like shooting up heroin, I'm like thumbnail. So what is the point of the like nostalgia is bad? This is a commentary on us because we're angry at the show because it's not the same as it was. And we're silly for that. Does anyone mind if I kick off a fundraising montage? Cool. That was creepy. That was the slight head shake animation. Thanks, Mom! I am so glad you have rich parents. They make fundraising montages so much easier. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny, to be honest. Yeah? Then why didn't you fucking laugh? Well, because it wasn't a joke that makes you laugh. It was a joke that was good, and I can respect it. It's but a, it wasn't joke a joke that makes you think. How is this a fundraiser? This is a Jack Stauber film right now. How is this gonna make anyone give their money? Or a, or a, or a, or a circle of time. That's fucking awesome. This is this looks so fucking cool. I'm David Tennant. Give money. I that like is, that threat because I like David Tennant. She spent a hundred thousand dollars to make that. She spent the one hundred thousand dollars to make that. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a show for babies. What is this? This is like <laughs> this is like the fucking AI generated fucking Spider-Man and Elsa. The break thing, noise, loud. That movie isn't as good as you remember, Joan. That movie was fucking bullshit. I really, I really, really, really hate the premise for this episode. I'm not gonna lie. Like the it's fact just that it's anti-nostalgia. It's, it's like anti-nostalgia, so and nostalgia is a beautiful thing. Who? So fuck. Fuck whoever believes in the message of this episode. Like, this well, is the thing so is, annoying I, like, and I agree with it because I think the nostalgia and fucking, like, n remember this bait has completely ruined entertainment in the current year. But this is the worst possible way to go about it. This is, like, a million times worse than that fucking one Joe short where it's like, Remember the 90s? The 90s were so much better. Pop singer turned dramatic actress Mandy Moore? Wow, I haven't seen you since you taught me the true spirit of Remember Snowflake Mandy Day. Moore from the first not season? I remember Mandy Moore from season one of Clone High. This is not us. That's a reference to This Is Us, the TV show starring Mandy Moore. Boy, if we build the grassy knoll again, then I won't have nostalgia for it and I'll be cured of silly legs. Oh my god, if we build it again with trash, this is a commentary of how they rebuilt Clone High and yes. it was garbage. We have to figure this out. It's not fair to Joan. It's true, but how can we know for sure if we're supposed Aww. to be together? Oh, oh I wish I could not see that. If you drove off a bridge and accidentally killed a gal, do you sit around and wait for the police? <laughs> Hell no! I don't know. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I do like that. That was that good. Was that good was one. fucking that was good. good. Are you guys seriously doing... What's that word? It begins with a C and it has hair in it. Uh, charity? Yes. Ugh, it even sounds disgusting. It's happening. Fuck. <sighs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh. This is a difficult situation. What does that even mean? I... Joan, I don't. Yes. I can't. I... <sighs> she died. That would be good. She overdosed on nostalgia, dude. She lost no Nostalgia Critic November. Bitch! In my face indeed! You are the queen of alcohol, Pong! Hey, Scubward, maybe you're not a total piece of shit. This is so, um, Ugh. funny, I think. I, I too, indulge in the alcohol and get well, a little rowdy. Well, it's like rowdy. watching your parents f***. 
<laughs> no, it's not. It's what? No, it's, it's just not. comedy. You know? No, it wasn't. It's exactly, not like watching your exact, parents. This, what are you t- this whole that's show my is review. Kind of like watching, that, that's my review of Clone High season two. It's kind of like watching your parents. F- like it's funny, but like that's a good letterbox. That's a good letterbox <laughs> review. Ha <laughs> ha! The grassy knoll is gone again! But her silly legs, she accepted her nostalgia. I'm actually okay, guys. Guys. I no longer have nostalgia for the past. Yeah, me neither after watching this fucking shitty reboot. I deny it. (laughs) It's my fault. I blame myself. Nope, never mind. It's just... No, this is... Um, Oh, God. Oh, God. I fucking hate this so much. That was like TikTok. Uh, I'm watching YouTube shorts. I'm watching shitty YouTube shorts. There's nothing I want less in my life than this. Why can't I be watching fucking faulty towers right now? This is on the same tier as Velma, guys. I, this I don't is wanna, this season. I don't want to say it, Velma but this is on the same tier as Velma. Velma tier. Chat, you you're not, not gonna believe to this, this, but they made another bad fucking comedy like cartoon. They did it. Still tastes like hot pukey mop water. Ah. <sighs> oh. Good to be home, mops. Why the fuck is Abe outside? Why? What the fuck? What? 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 Wow. what? That's Why did it end like that? Uh, Why okay. is she still with JFK? That sucked ass. Confused, she's here casting live from Sprang Break. We are going to the wettest and wildest place of. Hey! Bro, Auntie Linda is f***ing with it though. Hi, sweetie! Dude, that's actually kind of funny though. The only chatter on his TikTok stream is his aunt. I love watching your little videos. <laughs> We would take you, but we'd rather have fun. You understand. I left I you left the credit you. card in the microwave for dinner. <laughs> for the comments, why is the TikTok comment section way funnier than whatever is happening on screen? I'm not even paying attention. That scene was actually surreal because it had the TikTok chat, and then right behind that, beside that on my screen is our Twitch chat. So I'm just like looking at two different chats at what. Oh snap, we're right by a royal fan! This is too much. I like this episode so far. I'm not so gonna So far, lie. it's the best episode. Clone High gets good in season two? <laughs> yeah, it only took six episodes. I think what I'm realizing is that the entire show should have the TikTok live commentary. They've got the Subway Surfers gameplay. I think that's what this show needs. That's what it needs. You're right. You're right. This show was designed to be consumed through TikTok with Subway Surfers gameplay. With clips. With subtitles under it. Sandy. Oh my god, they're going to Burning Man. They're literally Burning Man, though. Live in the desert with only a limited supply of water first aid kits and Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? Cool Ranch Doritos. We've got to give credit to our sponsor. Oh my god, Big Dorito is the fucking thing pumping this show up the whole time. I mean, look I'm at not- the shape of half the characters. Something is coming out of my ear. Did JFK just pronounce an R? Wait, he's becoming a normal person? Walker. Kara Walker. What the? <gasps> he's sounding what normal the fuck? now. What? what? As a woke straight male ally, let me put my lips on this unconscious black woman to show how woke and straight I am. As a woke straight male ally. I'll never meet a definitely a hot guy 69 now. The drama. Oh, and my ankle's twisted. Oh, she was getting catfished by an Instagram guy. Yo, Stretch. You're in. Really? Ha, dog! That was kind of satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. The animation of it was, like, so (laughs) smooth. Phew. Okay, but to be fair, like, what the fuck? Who, who are you signaling down with, like, 15 shrimp? Like, Why was that funny? Why was him eating the sh- I don't know. Just... Explain it to me. Why was it funny? I just think Christopher Columbus is a great guy, so I just like most things he does. In the heat of the desert, it expands like a popover, which allows it to grow to its full potential in my massive skull. It's science and it checks out. I feel like it's like a, this is like a business infographic explaining why why JFK's brain is expanding. And intellectually, while humming to your favorite 21. Those booty cheeks are so pronounced. Oh my goodness. Can someone make a spilling the milk compilation of every single time we point at someone's giant ass? <laughs> that will literally be like nine hours long. Is this gonna end up like flowers for Algernon? It's gonna be very tragic. He's gonna turn normal again, and then she's 
she's not gonna she's gonna break up with him bro maybe that's why jfk got assassinated like something similar happened in real life where his brain expanded and he was too smart so they had to take him out the president became too smart we can't let them like have an iq above like 40. he realized he can actually do things for his people <laughs> Yo, Yo, he's that punk! That's fucking Dude! Boss. Always wears, and that should give them- he, She's so horny. Like, what the fuck? Dude, she's panting! She's what? a dog! Wait, stuff! Wait, what was that? <laughs> the, the, the that sound effect sound is sound so effect. unnecessary. What the fuck? I like this episode, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of enjoying it's this. It's definitely probably the best episode of the show so far. Guys, it's so hot. Let's just take cover in that old- That car looks fucking cool as hell. Oh, it just made me think about it in a way that- I Dude simping hard? How the fuck do Thumbnail. you sign language dude simping hard? It's the, uh, the eyebrow. It's all in the eyebrow. I was right, yeah. JFK is gonna turn stupid again. Is he like a reverse zombie or something? What does that mean? A reverse zombie? What a is vampire. a reverse like a, vamp a, a vampire. reverse <laughs> vampire? He's like a reverse vampire. So he's he went sunlight. A reverse yes. zombie? A living person? No, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, he's like a reverse vampire where he goes in the sun and he becomes like a British Chad. <sighs> it's like I could slide down his body and just keep going. That's clearly photoshopped. There's a picture of a catfish. Just in case you guys got just in case you guys didn't get the joke, we put a literal picture of a catfish there. Holy I shit. I like the way this party is currently going is kind of a bar though. It's like right before the nerdy kid busts it down. Like that's what type of shit that sounds like. I like the bars. way this party is currently going right now. My mom said that we have to be done at 10, but like I like the way this party is currently going. They don't know I like the way this party is currently going. Oh, yeah. That is fucking disgusting, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that seems like something, Elon. What? Yo, they're, they're snorting, snorting straight glass. fucking oh, glass. They're snorting, they're snorting everything. everything. They're snorting they're everything. They're a fucking like, vacuum what? cleaner. What the fuck? They snorted everything. an entire person. <laughs> they're just snorting sand this entire time. This, this is, is a hallucination. Fucking, they're snorting fucking sand and getting high. Well, this has been a very productive session. Now, June. It's time. He's literally giving them all therapy. Zombies sleep, right? <laughs> this episode literally decided to do zombies? everything in one episode. Like we have zombie yeah, apocalypse, zombie? desert stranded, hallucinations. It's like every episode all at once. We've got to keep JFK warm, not lukewarm like the fries at In and Out. I'm talking warm, warm. What the fuck was that joke? Okay, they're shitting on In and Out fries, which do suck. So like the joke does suck, but they are spitting fucking bars. This episode feels like a shitty teen movie. Which this is movie? why it's probably the best part. Like it feels yes. like a parody yes. of something. That's why it's good. That's why this is the best episode. Sexual assault zombies? I was a big fan of Clone High until they started making fun of sexual assault. That's that's where I draw the line. Cannibalism is one thing, but I draw the line at sexual assault. And <laughs> but <laughs> we had a fart joke, guys. Fart jokes are funny now, guys. I'm a huge fart joke fan. Anytime you've ever seen me say they suck, uh, that was a lot. I think that fart jokes can be good, but they have to be done correctly. Hot guy 69 was a lie. If I'm dumb enough to be catfish, oh, he was definitely hot guy 69. I need butts over here. Big ones, regular ones, warm butts now. What? What? Why? This episode scary? fell off. Okay, okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, we're back. The they content. brought me back. They're, in, they're gonna die. They're just gonna die. Whoa, they this so much. awesome. The B-plots between these two characters were pretty mid in the first season. This one episode might be better than any of the B-plots in the last season. They're gone. They snorted the themselves out of existence. Clarence did this better? I don't think Clarence was snorting cocaine. Yes, he have you not watched Clarence's Big Day? It's like the finale of the show. <laughs> it's where Clarence finds his dad's coke and then he, he has a big day. I can leave if you still prefer dying alone. Yes, thank you, Mr. B. This is unironically the last episode of Beef right here on Netflix. A consensual sexual intercourse partner, someone 
you can both be in bed with and be in mental bed with. Dude, the, the real JFK would with. never say that. The real JFK would never specify oh, no. consent. I'm not gonna lie, I fuck with smart JFK in this episode. Like, they're literally a good couple. Like, they are good for each other. No, they aren't. They literally don't talk to each other whatsoever. Well, now she realizes she wants more, of course. She realized through this episode that she needs more of a relationship. Yeah, she needs the fucking stupid moron cuck Abe Lincoln. Look, I'm not saying Abe is the solution. I'm just saying JFK is the problem, all right? JFK is the... That's why we took him out. He was a fucking problem. <laughs> what do you mean, we? We left them to roam the desert, where we eat chips and guac and drink sneaky bars at art galleries. This is like a type of LA person that I've never encountered, and I'm happy I haven't. Like this They're is such shitting a on such a specific group of people that it's like, how can anyone even possibly relate to this situation? Fucking specifically divorcees around the age of 30 who go into the desert with each- Who are we shitting on right now? Like five this is like, people? This is just people who go to Burning Man, I think? <laughs> That's not what I was <laughs> expecting it to sound like. I really oh wasn't God. expecting that. Wait, are they into each other? Gay? Whoa. Stop showing this. I don't want to see this. Uh, That's right. like salad finger. That's salad fingers his wife right there, man. I do not like that. Well, I'm glad he got a baddie. Harriet figured out Confucius was her secret admirer, but Confucius doesn't know that she knows. Does she know? That he Does knows she that know? She knows. You'll know soon. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. The, 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 the artistic choice to replay the what? bus crashing there. Why, Joan FK? Or. As we will be no, Joan FK. They're already breaking up. Well, they jump to that real quick. They're having a funeral for their breakup. Dedicated co-parents to our beloved tortoise, <laughs> Shell Silverstein, with us through the most pivotal moments of this. The, they're doing the goddamn Rick and Morty right now. I love you Shell. Know? You know who else had a funeral for their breakup? Go Ooh. ahead. OJ Simpson. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. We should all strive to be like OJ. I don't think he was humping the... <laughs> the fucking we don't know. We don't. We weren't we at OJ's know. wife's funeral. I am willing to bet that he was doing the same thing. Fortunately, Confucius is not as wise. Wait, are they making a bet on which clone will, like is winning? Are these like the funniest care? Are they ranking like the funniest characters? They're doing a tier list. They're like, we've already watched the entire show, so we're gonna make a tier list of who we think the funniest clone high character is. Wonderful. Did SpongeBob get thicker, or am I like, is my eyes expanding? Like, what the fuck just happened? Teaching sexual education causes teens to have more sex. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, they I the cannon I nipples like they don't break the fat. Well, wait a second. Hold up now. Wait a ah! second. Ah! Hey! Yo, where are the condoms? Wait, bro? Where oh are the condoms? For? Bring me the loop, bro. Give me the loop. Just fucking fire, dog. I'm gonna fucking. I wouldn't mind them using that multiple times. I want to use you multiple times after that. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're making the library a sex dungeon for the teenagers. This is like, so this is the sexy teens episode where they bring back the sexy teens. No, they couldn't the put intro. sexy teens in the new song because that's too controversial, but they will purposely orchestrate a situation in which they can make the characters because that's actually better. <laughs> Wink. Meow. She could inspire anyone to get in the mood. <laughs> well, we know his type. We know his type. She wants to meet IRL. What do I do? I don't know who Earl is. <laughs> I don't know who Earl is. What am I saying? I'm like, what? <laughs> gay, gay, gay. I'm not gonna lie. They literally made Cleopatra and Frida better characters by just making them gay. Like they actually have true. a dynamic with another character actually true. now. They made it woke and lit. French movie about these two 18th century countesses, but. <laughs> What the fuck is happening right now? Uh, I I'm allergic to movies. Okay, bye. <laughs> They're finally giving the new characters like some real like investment with the other characters. <gasps> Turn on. Oh, awful band. They're really good. <laughs> Did he suddenly? The up? second, I the second I saw the cord, I knew he was gonna trip. <laughs>
Oh my! <laughs> Down, and I want to shout it from the rooftops. We're a couple. This is such a what? Yoss Queen moment. I'm like yes. yossing so fucking hard right now. Oh my god, she is so insane. Like, how did someone draw this thing? Like, what kind of mind palace do you have to enter to conjure up a being that beautiful? Lincoln was my favorite president. Oh, uh, salt. He's a, um, He's a teen. I'm scared. They're not teens anymore. 20 years have passed. Why love a girl when you can love a woman who invented the missionary position? She invented the missionary position? Oh my god. Oh, Topher Grace is trying to pipe. Oh my god. No, Topher Grace is not his name. Topher Grace is a shitty actor from the early 2000s. Topher Bus. This video is brought to you by Topher Grace. Joan has had a lot of s JFK. Oh. And he's had a lot of with everybody so he's really good at oh he's, he's planting an insecurity into his head what an awful what, friend what? you have to practice with me abe abe i'm trying to be more woke so what's more woke than being gay ah! that was she stepped on her own titty <laughs> Educators from disgusting LGBTQIA. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I may have been a peanut scientist, but I want to have sex with you. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's not like they had any personality before this episode. You and I can. No oh, crap. He's drowning. Oh, is she. They're gonna f the turtle? Are they gonna f Never mind. Are Jack, how does your, how do you even I know what I have hey, look, to do? The sexy saxophone play how? when they showed the turtle and then it showed Abe. So do I. Oh my God, she's gonna walk in on him fing this old ass teacher. What what I I don't understand. What's Columbus's game here? That's what, what is, I don't understand. Is he either. trying to slide into Joan? We have to keep this a secret, or we'll both go to jail. That's the law. Don't bother look it up. That we'll both go to jail. We'll both go to jail. <laughs> Abe is a victim, bro. He's gas getting gaslit by his old teacher. Oh my God, she's perfect. Uh, Miss Grumbles. She died. Did she die? Did she just fucking die? I love eating oysters. This is the best couple right here. This is the best couple right here. I love eating oysters. Dude, she's eating the f***ing bro. Oh my god. It's literally, oh. it's literally. Metaphor. Oh my Metaphor. fucking god. Metaphor. Oh my god. Do you want to come to our party? I go do karate now. I can't see this is fun <laughs> what? because what? What? her entire characterization up until this episode was just being cool. So now that she has a romantic interest, it's like she's kind of awkward about it. So there's more to her character than just being the cool one. Do not go to Confucius and Harriet's party and hook up. Party horny. Party horny. Party horny. <laughs> Yeah, no, they got yeah. the same song again. Literally the best song. That's in the so show. fucking funny. I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Not so fast. I wouldn't do that unless you want me to show her. <gasps> Why are you blackmailing me? I, <laughs> what the? You can't say blackmailing. I'm I'm white leveraging because what? my true crush is Joe. Amazing oh, plot twist. Amazing that's plot what twist. It is. Amazing plot twist. What the fuck is happening? Why is he in this show? No, I'm sorry, but no. There are reasons, but I can't explain them. I must be vague. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be like the Owl House kiss moment, bro. Watch. How do you not want this? <laughs> what? what? Cleo's. Why is there a mime? There's just a mime in the background. Dude, this does feel like a shitty high school movie. This, I feel like I'm watching The Kissing Booth 3 right now. Like, that's what, that's what this feels Dude, like. you've watched too fuck? many shitty high school romance movies. I don't know what the fuck that means. Why, be three, why the third one? The best one in the franchise. Of course, I'm going to reference the best one in the franchise. You know what else has grown? My big, throbbing um... heart. Sorry the breakup <laughs> got so ugly. Oh, I think it's best for both of us if I go have meaningless with the Bronte sisters. <laughs> what? The, the turtle! turtle the even the I turtle told you. has someone. It's not gonna be a turtle. 
the God, why is the show good now? Those what happened? two episodes were by the far the better happened? episodes. That was that was good. What the fuck? That was good. This is the ep episode they sent off to get the Emmy with. Oh. An epic tale so groundbreaking, so powerful. There aren't enough. Oh, it is an Emmy episode. You were right. <laughs> Dude, they got back for one so season. They're trying to get the Emmy. Like, come on. Like, how? And I think they're going to win in every category. Dude, the, th the same image of the robot guy. Why is it the same clip of the robot? Your consideration. Let's watch. Let's watch. We are part of the Emmy committee right now. We have to insert ourselves as the old white men in the Emmy committees. Okay, so we're going to be role playing as old white men for this recording. Oh, this reminds me of back when I was a lad. Father would take me out on the boat to go fishing and beat my ass raw. With that crab. <laughs> beat my ass with a crab. Clone high. Oh my god, so fucking beautiful. What the music swelling. Do you have crab stuck in your teeth? Uh, what? I don't feel anything. Oh, did I get it? Is it here? There. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I that. needed. This is what I needed. The Emmys are gonna love the fucking disgusting tooth decay. You promised to look out for my teeth while I made my very important proposal, and yet you broke that promise. Were they promise you made all those years ago? No flashback time. What the fuck is happening right now? Oh, this is about the the tragic relationship of Scudworth and the robot. <laughs> Who's going rogue? Fuck! No more Wesley. Hey, why do you always call people Wesley? It's a long, epic, and award-worthy <laughs> story. Mr. B, bro. Mr. B. Oh, this is cool. I like that. It's a backstory. What? You identical twins. You identical twins. Mr. B. He said identical twins. Mr. B is black-coated. Mr. B, Mr. Black. Promise I'll never leave your side. On earth or in heaven. And a promise between brothers is forever. forever. What the this fuck is such is a this? bizarre episode. What the fuck? I like it though. It's something, you know, different. Oh, dude, I love the Those style. They're really chewing. embracing the style. It looks so good. Dude, it literally said polio schmolio on the newspaper. Like, this is the polio epidemic. All these kids are getting polio. And the fucking <laughs> the newspaper does not give a shit. Fucking interracial. Interracial couple in this not time period? Apartheid is over. You can't go to no heaven on the count of your. Robot. So no! Oh, twin brother. Oh, don't be a fool, this man. This is tragic. Besley, Dude, I fucking cry. love this episode. Here. Oh, his name is Besley and Wes. Wesley was his brother. That's why he calls everyone Wesley. Robots can't cry. No. Robots can't. <laughs> I have no soul. I never thought that the episode about fucking Mr. B would be a good episode. <laughs> they really embraced this style. Like, I didn't expect this part to go on for so long. I expected it to be like a one off, like, Family Guy cutaway gag, but they're really going hard for his backstory. <laughs> the music. The the fucking, yeah. <laughs> I also like, it's like this very dedicated old timey style, and then the music is just a modern dramatic soundtrack. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Breaking up with JFK was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Did you hear that? She, he spouted his whole sad backstory of abandoning his brother, and then Joan just makes it about herself instantly. <laughs> just like, I, I had to break up with a guy I dated for one month. I think I know how you feel. He'll think I'm a whore. He'll think I'm a whore. He'll think I'm a whore. Plot twist. She was a whore. See you next week. Whoa, this is fucking awesome. This is so cool. It's like a noir movie now. And he's holding himself out. Hooker Hotel. <laughs> Wesley! It says Wesley! Oh my god! B, your rent. The male nipple. Dude, his nipples are so high up on his chest. Yeah, and like his shirt hangs down, and then his yeah. nipples are just like there. Like at that point, why even wear a shirt? Let's Jesus Christ, the animation of these. Richard and I will get right to performing sexual favors. Wait, does, oh, is he the hooker? You're gonna be a daddy, Mr. B. What? What? I can't even make jokes. I'm just like baffled this, by just everything thrilled. that's happening. So Mr. B is f***ing this sexy ass woman. <laughs> what? What? It, that's fucking terrifying. What? How? How did that happen? Hey factory. Oh my God! He's cheating. She was fucking VCR. And with a VCR. You knew who I was when you met me. A woman who loves. With many types of electronics. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to Wesley. Oh, the only stop I go on. I mean, Leslie and Presley, are they gone? 
died of natural causes from injuries sustained from that train what hit him. <laughs> died of natural causes from the injuries of a train. <laughs> I have no soul. Well then, how's about we get you one? Baptism. Baptism? <laughs> what? Wesley meets what? God! Dude, this episode is so cinematic! What the fuck are we watching? I feel like every episode of Clone High Season 2 changes the dynamic of the series. Just let me put on my rustproof express. Alright, everybody. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray for Mr. Butler trying to. Will he survive the water? Let's pray for season three to be only episodes like this. No! No! Oh my god! That was the crab at the beginning of the episode! No, he's crucifix! No! <laughs> Wesley! See you in heaven. You kind of had that coming, to be honest. Like, you can't swim, and you went on a boat, and you didn't bring, like, the little, like, rubber floaties. You couldn't bring, like, some water wings with you. Wesley! You forgot your water wings, Wesley. You could have survived. Oh, my God, his hair. <laughs> The last high Hollywood for a Yo, desert person. <laughs> I don't think mom and dad are gonna ground us because they're gonna kill us first. Are they recording a new episode of Horsing Around? We broke the window, not Mr. B. We're so sorry. Mr. B had a fucking long and crazy life. This is like Forrest he was, Gump. This is exactly like he Forrest is Gump. For, it is Forrest He's, Gump. Even like Forrest it going Gump. through the different time periods. He just needs to accidentally end up being an important political figure. I can offer to make you a part of this. Oh my god, all the clones. That's weird. Why baby. are they? They're like That's tiny so baby fetuses, they're, but they're like full, ew, ew, full babies ew, ew. in test tubes. That is so specifically weird. Wait, you can't clone people. Oh you want to clone Wesley? He has the hair of Wesley. Your life has been so epic and award worthy. Meanwhile, I have no one. Don't your shut up, you fucking shut dumb up! bitch! Nobody cares about your stupid life. Don't put your trust in other people. They'll only let you down until eventually you can't take it anymore. That's a good moral. Damn, that's a really good moral to teach a teenage girl. Like, that's really smart. There's like a musical theme, the da 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 da. They've got their own fucking the motif. custom There's a musical mo motif. Goodbye. Now the clones are sexy teens. This is the best episode of Clone High, period. Like, it, I think it's better than the main series. I think this is the best I episode of Clone High. The musical period. episode is probably still my favorite. You oh, yeah, with Jack Black? Yeah. That one's good. That one's really good. Okay, end of the line. This bus guy is he has a crazy life to be honest. Is his purpose just to drive around and find people who have no meaning in their life? That's every fucking bus driver, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, were you gonna jump? I didn't mean to cut the line. <laughs> I like how courteous he is. Do you wanna kill yourself first or or me? We can like, if you're ahead of me, like you can go for We can do like rock, paper, scissors. <sighs> That's a lot of people. That'll take all day. You know what? Forget it. Life's too short. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, this shot goes so hard. Bro, what the, what fuck? the fuck? Am I playing a whole of an emotional, thought-provoking indie game right now? This is like the end of Celeste. Like we're we're, we're trying to like find ourselves in this episode. He reached the summit, man. You are not going anywhere, Mister B. Scudworth. You did try to tell me. Oh, he did. <laughs> I forgot this all came from having fucking crab in his teeth. What a piece of shit. I'm a scientist. I don't have a soul. The clones don't have souls. They're just horny science experiments. <laughs> We're all soulless. We're all fucked up. We don't have any morals. Come join us. Oh, it's Wesley. That's terrifying. This is what people say when they say test tube baby. It's a small, like, microscopic baby. But do you, oh. do you think, like, you knock back the test tube, it's like Balut? <laughs> oh my god, human Balut is what I've been asking for for all my life, bro. Your brother is alive! <gasps> my brother's a sexy teen now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, my take, let Scudworth die. Like, he's had a full life. <gasps> Goodbye again, Wesley. Wesley will return.
in season three of Clone High. Wesley is born in the ocean. He becomes like a mermaid in season three, comes back. Dude, the Emmy. Oh my God, give it to him. Give it to him. Please give us the Emmy, please. That's what the musical theme is for. Robots can't cry. Oh, no. You didn't cry. That was a malfunction. No, I totally cried. Did not. For, For your, your consideration. consideration. <laughs> There's no magic in the world. Robots don't cry. Rainbows. Don't Rainbows don't exist. Why do you sound like Trump? <laughs> Dude, that was such a good episode. I am like astounded how good that episode was. I think I would have to consider that. Yeah, as the old white man running the Emmys, I feel like we got, we got to give it at least a nomination, bro. Every relationship will be put to the ultimate test. Will Harriet and Confucius survive? Hope not. <laughs> will Harriet and Confucius survive? <laughs> will they're gonna oh, fucking oh. die in this episode. Will Christopher Columbus kill all the characters? Will Christopher Columbus go on an incel rampage and shoot up their school? I'm still waiting for John Wilkes Booth clone. Like, I'm still waiting for him. They should just have only clones of people assassinated and clones of people who assassinated them and then do like a most dangerous game, like death battle situation where they just <laughs> have to compete and only one person can make it out alive. The next season is a tournament <laughs> where each of them have to fight to the dead. To that see would which be clone fucking awesome. I would love that. Really intimate and important messages like never change. Now, who wants to go first? Oh my god, yo, the Frida Cleo relationship is goaded. I'm not gonna lie. Look like some fucking snakes trying to constrict each other to death. Uh, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I got teleported to the fucking 2008 sketch video on YouTube. What is this magical place? A five, six, seven, eight. Talking about college, clone high college. Clone high college? Clone high college. Yes! She looking like SpongeBob now. Look at her dress. She has SpongeBob's colors now. This is SpongeBob the musical. We're looking at my jazz hands, which are inherently more jazzy on account of my arthritis. Come on, these fingers are always the jazziest. <laughs> that does not even look like a hand. Her hands are like triple the size of my hands. You know what that means. She's packing heat down there. Hey, besties. I'm so excited about college, but what if it comes between us? Frida is like eternally at an angle. Like her entire life is like this. Four amigas, except maybe distance, time, or like a Hunger Games or Squid Games type situation. What? She said it. Squid she games. said it. Hunger Games or Squid Games type situation. Death. Battle! Death! Death game, battle! Death battle! Death we need game. a battle royale. What? Oh my what goodness, the fuck? I can't believe they're actually doing it. It's literally <laughs> Hunger Games. They're doing fucking Battle Royale Squid Game? What the fuck? This is what we asked for! We're gonna have some fun, sing some songs, and probably a lot of people are gonna die. But we won't focus on that. What? <laughs> this is so fucking... This is the way you fucking end it, dude. This is like the community, like, paintball episodes. They had to get out a crazy event. Get me! You already killed Genghis someone. Genghis Khan! I gotta tie these babies on tight. I'm not a good runner. I only do rich people sports. Most of them are on horses. Why is he such a fucking dickhead now? Yeah, I feel like when he was first introduced, I didn't even realize he was supposed to be a rich guy. That's it! I'm breaking up with you! I'm sorry! No, they didn't survive. That happened so quickly. That's why you left Confucius behind. Bold move. I could never do that to Clay Clay. I made a choice and I'm good with it. I'm so good. I am so good. Uh. Uh. Answer this question. What is the basis of all strong female friends? Dude, this is the Hunter Hunter arc where they're going through the maze in the exams. You know that part? <laughs> yeah. Right the pyramid. And they have to play rock, paper, scissors for like 14 fucking episodes. Choose C. The answer is always C. They killed Van Gogh! The answer's E. All of the above. They just didn't see that. They didn't see it. The giant zip line that's been there the whole time. <laughs> well, I listen to my Adam's apple. And my Adam's apple is telling me to listen to your butt. Ew, ew. <laughs> he just wanted an excuse to touch him. He wanted to feel up the get. My Joni! She's not your Joni anymore. Uh, she's not yours either, Abe. I'm trying to save her. Bro, they're all trying to smash Joan. Like, all three of them love Joan, but besides Confucius. Joan, help me! <gasps> Kutfufu, I need you! What the fuck is oh, this? It's the twins from The Shining? They look like Willy Wonka characters. <laughs> you know, I kind of liked seeing Abe get beat up. Like, he had it coming. 
out on my bouncy butt. What? What is happening? What the fuck is going on in this episode? This episode went like insane mode out of nowhere. Hey, we make a really good duo of bros who will remain, remain friends, friends for the rest, rest of our lives. lives. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Let what? them be gay. Let them be gay. Let them eat cake and let them be gay. We always get fucking lesbians in every damn cartoon. Let's have a proper homosexual relationship for once, god damn it. All the clones are sleeper agents? I mean, I hate Bert, but I was aiming for Candide. I'll call his family. No, Bert. Bert's family hated him, though. They were actually happy to get the payout. No one cared about Bert's death. Like, that was a good thing. It was a net good. Ernie will be a bit sad, though. Choose our own weapon. Fun. I love shopping. Cleo sucks in this show. Like, they fucking ruined her character. But Cleo and Frida dating is good. I like them. Yeah, I like that. But mostly because it just made Frida an interesting character. Didn't really have anything to do with Cleo. <laughs> I mean, that kind of makes sense. Like, it's her girlfriend, like. And Cleo's hotter, so it makes sense. Oh my gosh, Joan, you're alive! Joan evil arc. Joan Joker arc. You would do the same thing for someone that you love. JFK, or is it Abe now? I can't keep track of your white girl crushes. I can't keep track of your white girl crushes, bro. She can't. White women and their crushes, dude. No White other... White women and loving other people. Cringe. Could not be me. Could not be me. <laughs> That was fucking hilarious. That was fucking metal as hell. Why did this show get good? This show got good in the last four episodes. Am I... Get out of here! You smell awful and we hate you and you do bad impression! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! And just like a lone wolf, I'm gonna destroy my enemies and piss all over everything! Ew, ew, what the why? Are you gonna get like the, like that little cup that you can get so that women can pee standing up, Joan? That's the only lone wolf thing she's gonna do. She's gonna get that cup and act normally otherwise. Piss like a man! It's Confucius, it's cross body bag! That means you made it into the maze! Dude, I can't get over the fucking YouTube sound effect. The YouTube sound effect is so funny. I love it. It makes me think I'm watching a fucking Kev Jumba video. It looks more like a basketball court. But we should probably get going. The clones would never be balling. The clones would never be balling. Oh, fuck. Goddamn. Yeah. Ah! She planned that. She predicted that they would not be able to get the ball in for more than like right next to the hoop because the trapdoor was like right in front of the hoop. Dude, they never do any Genghis Khan jokes. I feel like they could like say so many fucked up things about the character. Maybe they're afraid. They're like, that would be too edgy. It would be really edgy. This competition was a top secret initiative called Operation Spread Eagle. You're an eagle. <laughs> I like the sensor bar over the Spread Eagle. Congratulations, Joan. You're gonna be the next world leader. What? Did this just turn into Inside Job Season 3? They saw that shit was getting canceled, so they had to do it themselves. They're alive, but they won't remember you after I zapped their minds with a memory eraser ray. Wait, so none of them died? It wasn't actually Hunger Games? Gandhi! Dude, they, they're just like teasing us with the Gandhi, bro. They're like, season four, we'll bring it back. They're fucking teasing our c with Gandhi. I'm about to go on a hunger strike if we don't get him back. You know, if I can't be with her, she could do a lot worse than you. Aw. She could. And she should do a lot worse than you. She should. She should. JFK is too good for her. This is how I really feel. Women shouldn't wear... Shut up, Topher! Shouldn't wear what? I want to know, bro. Release the Topher cut. He's, he's actually very conservative. Women should be wearing dresses only. Pants are for men. No! Their minds are erased. What a what is this ending? I like the percentage bar. But if they interrupt it, does this mean they'll forget like half of the things they know? I do, I'm confused. I had something I needed to tell someone named Joan. Hmm, I can't remember what it was. Oh no! No! It's a reset to season one. The pages of our lives. What is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh my goodness! This. Is them pitching season two of Clone High? Oh my god, she's doing the hand pose. We should we should be doing the hands. Like we should have been doing this the whole video. Oh my god, they're all doing it. They're all doing it. It's so beautiful, the hands. You know the funny thing about yearbooks is, 
They only show the good memories. Evil yearbook? Evil yearbook. No. Oh, this is Joan killing them all. <laughs> I like the evil yearbook better than the real one. Um, could we get that memory eraser ray going again? That's Is that the, end? the end of fucking Bro, show? are you kidding me? Can I get my memory erased on that shitty fucking cliffhanger? Fuck you. What is that cliffhanger, bro? What the fuck is that cliffhanger, guys? If you guys want to watch season three, make sure to get this video to 12,000 likes. And thank you to our Patreons. Thank you, Steven Sent Cheese, Val Explicit, Trinity Martin, Nikki H225, Gub Stargazer, Chrysalin, Huffles, The Awesome Possum, Native Five, Frozen Spaghetti, Daryl Herb, Tiran Sills, Isaiah Alford, Sheriff Nico, Alejandro Paredes, Quiet Choir, Super Fun Time Bros, Samuel Sanchez 8, Gummy Brain Rot, Rod Rodder, Cosmic Dega, Brendan Madigan, Noah Holiday, Communism is When No iPhone, Gabriel Granados, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Atomic Leon, and Whitaver.